It's time! I'm so delighted to show you my brand new phone. Check it out. Before we get into the new phone, I wanted to just take a moment to tell you how bittersweet this is. You have been with me the entire time I've had my 11 Pro Max. In fact, do you remember when I shot that video a couple of years ago? Wow, it seems like just yesterday, but actually it was two and a half years ago. I can't even believe it. But the wonderful thing is that iPhone served me very well for a long time and it is in excellent condition and thanks to Verizon it's now going to someone who will need it or at least some of the parts are. So let's get into my new iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this is my new iPhone and I am so excited to open it and I haven't seen it yet as you can tell and I am ready to react to it with you. Turn this around here. So now that I have the trade-in material out of the way, this is my new iPhone. And look at this box. It's a little heavier than the 11 Pro Max I've heard. So I am going to see here in a second. I like what Apple did as far as how easy it is to open the box. You can see this little tab here in my hand. And so I've got one side open already. And let's see, there we go. Oh, and I like that box. Now you can see the iPhone here and it is significantly bigger. It's a little longer and it, it's a little bigger in my hand than my previous iPhone. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. And you can see it's it's got the cameras and the cameras are bigger. Look at how much bigger they are. I'll, I'll show you a comparison here in a second. And then this is the little screen protector. Let me just take this off so you can see it's absolutely brand new. And it did come with a cable, but it no longer comes with a charging brick, which is just sad. I really wish they did come with a charging brick, but luckily I have enough charging bricks as it is. Here are the two iPhones side by side. On the right, you have the 11 Pro Max, and on the left, you have the 13 Pro Max. First of all, what I notice, and what I bet you notice too, is there's a huge difference. Let me unlock the phone again so they're both blank. There's a huge difference between the size of them. I guess I shouldn't say huge when you line them up, but you can definitely feel and see that the 11 Pro Max is a little bit smaller than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if I lift them both up, I'm going to lift the iPhone 11 Pro Max in my right hand and the 13 in my left hand. The 13 is slightly heavier, just a little heavier than the 11 Pro Max. But still, it has the same buttons. It's got the lock and unlock button here. It's got the volume buttons here and the mute switch on this side. And it's still got the front pixel camera and we'll talk about the improvements of the camera. And on the back, let's turn the other one over too. Let me move these back so you can see them both. They're both in gold. Actually, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is rose gold and then the 13 Pro Max is gold. So you can see the difference here. It's, it's rose gold versus gold. But look at the difference between the two cameras. You can definitely see that the iPhone 13 Pro Max cameras are bigger and they have certainly made improvements in that. Now I have turned on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and it will start up soon so we can hear how it sounds. Because as you know, since I use voiceover, that's really important. Now it doesn't look like voiceover is on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to triple tap on the 
lock and unlock button, and that's the shortcut for voiceover. As you can see, it's showing the hello in many different languages, and I need to pick hello, not hola, not bonjour, but actually hello. And there are a ton of languages here, which is just remarkable. Hello, there it is. Oh, did it work? Nope. See, this is why I need voiceover. I saw it, but I wasn't fast enough. Hold on. Voiceover alert. Voiceover gestures. Yes. So it's basically saying, if you turn on voiceover, you're going to need to use these voiceover okay. gestures. We're going to say, okay. Hello. Now listen, this is cool. <laughs> Hola. 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 Bonjour. 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 <laughs> Hello. Swipe up. Swipe up to. There we go. Ta da! Set up. <laughs> now, in my hand, I have a brand new case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. You may remember my previous video with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the case, and this is the 13 Pro Max and its case. And this is made by a company called Armadillo Tech, and tech is spelled T E K and it is a wonderful case. I have really liked the case. I think it's been sturdy and stable. It's been of military grade protection and it's helped keep my phone in excellent condition. So what I did is I snapped the case into place. Now you can see the cutouts for the buttons here on this side. Here's the side button. On this side, you've got the volume switch and the volume up and down buttons. You can see how it fits nicely with the back of the camera. You've got some protection around those good lenses, those really important lenses. You can see the screen protectors on here. And this is a nice screen protector because it's fingerprint resistant and it's easy to clean. And then here's my favorite feature. I love this kickstand, look at this. So you can either set the phone this way, so it faces, um, what would you call that? Kind of horizontal, or you could turn it on its side like this and it's vertical and the kickstand works either way. The thing that's sad about this case is <laughs> it's so all consuming of the phone. It covers every inch of it except for the back with the camera lenses. And even then it tries to cover them that you can barely see that it's a gold phone anymore because it's so well covered. But I do this because I don't wanna drop this phone. I don't want to spill anything on it. I want to keep it in as good of condition as I can for as long as possible. I am so curious to know what you think of my new phone. Let me know in the comments below. Also, are you considering an upgrade soon on your phone? Hey, if you wouldn't mind helping me out and doing the youtube -y things like liking my video, sharing my video, and subscribing, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it for you and showing this to you. And until next time, bye for now.